it going everybody today I want to do a quick video got a lot to go over basically the main VST that I use which is free as well as the piano and as well as some drum parallel compression so we're gonna get right into it skip the intro skip all the bullshit and let's get in it let's just get amped up so we'll do a beat breakdown quickly on this beat also the free VST that I'm talking about which is creepy piano on the coffin rot preset let me see if I can get you guys that so that's the creepy piano you can get it on VST for free um, yeah it's free uh, I like that because it's kind of a dark sounding so and then uh, this is the loop that I created nothing going on with it I think on uh, I put an EQ on it so and then there's a uh, the second loop that, uh, it's, the, it's the same thing the creepy piano but it's on the clay shock preset I'm pretty sure I added drip on that one which I did added some drip some lo-fi without the drip it just tames it a little bit on for that one. That's what I wanted to do with it. And then the drums. Very simple drums. And then the only other thing I would have done is this pluck, which I guess I didn't save the MIDI. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, I did say that. That was it. And the only other thing I did was reverse the piano over here. And then also reverse the plug. separate like I have my MIDI drums but then I'll go individually convert them to audio individually I have my kick snare A snare B clap hat A hat B open hat then I send those individually to each its own group kick mix snare mix hat mix and then those three mixes will be sent to another group channel but a stereo channel which I call drum mix then on the drum mix I send that to a sun channel to uh, drum parallel compression and I just I have a, an, another free VST the supercharger um, compressor and I pretty much got it almost smashed it's a six to one add some punch and dirt and then you want to blend that in I'm not gonna so I'll mute the parallel compression see if you guys can hear it. I know it's through the cam phone cam but That's without, no, that's with, and it's just blended in a little bit, just, just so I, I normally do it, you know, I'll mute it. So this is the, without parallel compression on my drums, and the 808 kind of overpowers it just a little bit, so, and then now when I activate that, I know you probably can't hear it through the phone, and I, I apologize, but, yeah, I'll normally, blend that in with the fader for the parallel compression until I hear my kick a little bit louder than my my uh, my 808 so you got that big thump that, that 
just a nice heavy hitting drums and then another reason why I separate everything I like to uh, set just my reverbs and clap to uh, set, yeah set my snares and claps to a reverb I don't like to set the whole mix so, so then I have my snare going to a reverb Here's a parallel compression solo. Let me, uh, let's go, okay, yeah. Solo the drum mix, that's without the drum parallel compression. And then with it on, it just thumps a little bit more, the snare comes out through a little bit more, the hi-hats, and just overall, it just, but yeah. So that's the video. Just wanted to go over this beat. I'll, I'll uh, do at the end of this video the full quality of the beat. Um, so different type of video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If your drums ain't kicking, put some parallel compression, blend it in, and uh, it'll make a world of a difference. Um, also, yeah, like I said, the free VST is the creepy piano. On uh, yeah, creepy piano, free VST instrument. Also, the supercharger is a free compressor. I use that pretty much uh, strictly just for my parallel compression on the drums. I just like the way, I, and sometimes parallel compression on my vocals. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy, Street Logic. Smash that like button, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Peace out.